Hello everyone, it's Poofy. How are you doing? Welcome back to Shards of God. So last time we ended up um, in the forge, we have seen every environment there is or every area that we can reach through the map. And we got a couple of things. We got some tools, a knife, a chisel. So first, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to go to the lamp. And unscrew those things. It's loose, I don't need to meddle with it anymore. So can I now take the bulb? And again, nothing happens. It's fine. Let's take a closer look. Because there's... Ooh, there's stuff. Is it faster this time? <laughs> Alright. Still nothing. It's fine, we're gonna do all of them. I know one of them will do something. Nothing! What about this one? Pretty sure this one will open up something. Uh, nothing. Oh, hey, you know what? I think we have to put in the fruit. Should keep it down. There. Aha. We need to keep him there. That's a smart puzzle. Uh, but we're missing one fruit. No, we don't. We got that one. I don't want to put that in the holder. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, wait. But may maybe if we do... Yeah, <laughs> we can just use our hands. I knew it, a secret passage. Aha, the plot thickens. What are you waiting for, Ava? Let's go. All right, so there should be a scale here. I remember that. What is this place? Well, there's Mun in its complete, exactly the statue of the temple. Contemplative. Contemplative. The statue was holding six beams. But here, Mun is holding seven. Aha! Uh -huh. So now we have a sunbeam sun theft? Maybe the engraving just doesn't match the statue. You should have to ask priest, the hat priest about it. Wow, what's wrong with me? Words, man. Hmm, what do we have here? So this is what I missed in the demo. And the developer pointed me out that there... I did everything in the demo besides this. I just looked at this. And, and I was like, okay, that's a skill. I need some stuff for that. And then I left. But apparently, uh, I'm going to show you. It's a stone dice. It's a bronze weighing pan. In it, there's what looks like a ceramic shard. Uh, three. All right, so we take these and we put them there. This is what he told me. Like, hey, if you do this, then you get, you get another thing. But... Is this the, hmm, the missing plate? Didn't I say the plate was important? And so the plot begins to unravel. No? Yes, I think I can see it now. See what? This only makes things more confusing. Oh, come on, Achillite. Isn't it obvious? Well, I think the scales are a puzzle. If we put the right shards on the right side of the scales... I don't know, another secret passage will open? Hmm. Now we just have to find the clue. The clue. You know, like two weigh more than one, but three are less than a quarter of twelve. <laughs> and we place the shards and the scales the right way and voila! Ah, so somebody constructed a secret door and rigged it to a scale. And it can only be opened using broken pieces of a dead god's decoration piece. You say like this. Uh, the killer stole the plate. The killer must have stolen the plate. Maybe as a little souvenir. Hmm? And then they broke it and decided to weigh it. Well, maybe they want to sell it and are estimating the cost. Well, I do give you points for imagination. <laughs> the killer broke the plate and wanted to hide it. 
I know. The killer broke the plate by accident and didn't want to leave traces. Why not just throw it off the balcony and why the scales? Hmm. I give up. It's a mystery to me. I agree that some aspects of this are still rather unclear. Like the number... Why four? For what? Four shards. Three on one side, one on the other. Where's the fifth shard? Yes, I noticed that too. One piece of the plate is missing. Indeed, and before it resurfaces, we won't know everything. Oh well, all in due time. I'll let you proceed with your mission, Aculite. We still have a murder to reconstruct. Yes, Mother Superior. Yeah, this is... Hmm. I'll put everything back the way I found it. Okay. I think I've done all I could here. Yes, yes. This place, if I'm not mistaken, it's at the center of everything. But for the time being, there's nothing more for us to do here. As cryptic as ever. Right, so let's go back to the temple. There's a couple of things that I want to do. So that was that. Now, let me quickly put everything back. Right, I'll put everything else back as well. Yeah, but how can we... It's done. I uh, need to do everything again, or maybe not. All right, let's go to that temple, because she's like, hey, the head priest knows something about... And I also need to be there with Plint. Master Plint, the friendly fellow, it would seem somewhat mischievous. He's also a man of many talents. A potter, an artisan, who knows what else? Yes, who knows? Uh, can we talk to him? Master Plint? Howdy, miss. Apologies, I have to be on my way. Sure, see you around, miss. Okay, that was... <laughs> I was like, hey, man. Hey, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Catalyst. Father Catalyst. May I have a word with you again? A brief word, sister, yes. Uh, one golden rod is missing from the statue. I've seen an image of Mun similar to the statue you have here. In many places, no doubt, it is a popular pose. Mun holding the seven sunbeams. That's the problem. Your statue is only holding six. Impossible. The statue, like all its counterparts, is holding seven rods. Just count them. This is preposterous. One, two, six. By his fiery gaze, you're right. The temple has been desecrated. So you think somebody has stolen the rod? What other explanation is there? The statue was definitely holding seven rods. But a wretched thief is in for a surprise. Good luck to him selling Madman's gold. Madman's gold? Oh yes, see, we've had cases like this in the past. Too many golden ornaments going missing. And so, for several decades now, statues are adored exclusively with Madman's gold. He's talking about Pluronite. Pluronite? I see you are well read, sister. Yes, Pluronite. And what does Pluronite do exactly? So what is this Pluro... What does it do? It simply disappears. The air in this temple is carefully maintained to make golden rods solid. But once outside the building, they will disappear without a trace within a few days. Without a trace, you say? Without a trace. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I have to go. I'll be on my way, Father Catalyst. May our divine lord shine upon your path, sister. So that could be the murder weapon, then. I can almost hear the wheels in your head spinning, Aculite. Mother Tiabata, did you hear? A rod has been stolen from the temple recently. Made of madman's gold. A metal which just happens to evaporate without a trace. So you are thinking, murder weapon. I mean, we still don't know how the suit was pierced. But at least we have an idea where the weapon went. It's simply evaporated. Good job, Ava. Good job. Well, thank you, Mother Superior. Now, once you have obtained a rod yourself... Wait, wait, what, what do you mean? Obtained a rod yourself? I'm confused, Aculite. 
Are there more ways to interpret what I said? Well, you surely don't want me to desecrate my statue. Oh, so you see other options. Well, I'm listening. Why do I have to replicate the murder anyway? Why do I have to physically do it anyway? Replicate the murder, I mean. Surely a solid theory is enough. No theory is as solid as a practical demonstration. How better to understand our killer than to walk a mile in their shoes? Easy for you to say when it's me who has to do all the walking. How about you do it then? If it's really necessary to desecrate Mun's temple, then maybe you would prefer to do it yourself? Prefer? Perhaps. I must admit I'd find some entertainment in that. Alas, I tend to draw attention. You, on the other hand, are... And here come the casual insults. Don't bother, mother. Superior. I've heard it all. This is new. What is new? The tone. The defiance. I... I'm sorry, Mother Tiabata. I would recite the litany of penitence, but... But... But it seems rather silly now, doesn't it? Yes. I've been praying to a suit. I've been praying to a suit my whole life. Yet you don't want to desecrate the suit statue. I don't... That... That would be chaos. I know this doesn't make any sense to you, but... It makes perfect sense. Hard thing to shake, Faith. So, look, Ava, if it helps, I am hereby directly ordering you to steal the Golden Rod. As per your oath to the Order of Vigil, you have no choice but to obey. Feel better now? I... Well... Yes, Mark Superior. That's settled. Now, uh, get to it. You have a Temple Heist to perform. <laughs> And a murder weapon to fashion. Uh, Mother Tiabata says I need to get one of the golden rods. I can't just break the rod off my bare hands. Oh. Uh, Hammer and just. Can I combine them? They won't do anything. No. A catalyst would see me. You need to create a diversion. Still doesn't feel right. Uh, yo, bro, you want you want some fruit? Why would Catalyst be interested in that? I don't know. I have no idea why he would be interested in that. Nice. Stab him. <laughs> All right. All right. I need to get the Hippocles rods uh, things from for him, and then that would be the distraction, probably. Let's go to Mun's chambers. Because we have a knife. Is there anything else here that we can do? Let's talk to you first. Mother Tiabata? Ava, are you ready to demonstrate to me how this man was killed? Not really. Not just yet, Mother Superior. Then what are you bothering me for? My chain of thought, it breaks so easily, you know? Apologies, Mother Superior. Uh... All right, then we're, 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 we're heading out. I don't know. Shall we go to? There's nothing we can do with the forge. What did you need again for the Hippocles things? Oh right, it was the vault. It must be where they are kept. But how do we how do we open it again? Could you please remind me where they are in the vault, right under the decrees? That will be all. Can we open that? Try a heavy stone vault open with a knife. Not my sharpest idea. Chisel. Probably the most secure vault in the whole nation. I really can't break into it with just a chisel. Why not? Hammer? It's the god Ever's fault. A simple hammer won't do anything here. I see no screws. Trying to pry it open would only break the screw drive. So what if we... I don't need to open the secret passage again. There's a face. 
since it looks fragile, I could break it. All right. This looking part is a better leaf than where they are. Yeah, but several years ago, working hours. This is all. This is all stupid, isn't it? Or unless this is also a puzzle, but. I have no idea. Fault. Like you just cannot force it over with bare hands. Glue it. That won't help me open the vault. How can we open the vault? We need. We need to. We need to. Think. Alright, let's go to the farms. I haven't been there in a while. Hello, Mr. Eyeball. Let's talk to you, Radina. If I may, Lady Radina. I thought nuns were of the quiet, contempl contemplative sort. Yet you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. About plate. About master plate. You don't give up easily, do you? Whatever you think you should be punished for, just leave it. Hmm. Okay. So there's nothing here. I don't need to carry more fruit. What are we missing? We're missing something right now. So possibly still the forge? Do we do we need to do anything? I don't want to burn that. We already It would be unwise to touch the sensor, let alone let it scan me. It could trigger an alarm. It's not a touch screen. <laughs> so, may, you know what? Maybe. I'm going to try one last thing. Maybe we have to go back to the, to the chamber and then... Stab him. That would accomplish nothing. Right, we wouldn't want to contaminate the crime scene. But is there anything that we can... I mean, there's blood, you don't want to touch it. Blood on the inside of the lid, but how could anybody have pierced an impenetrable suit? Why is that a thing? Can we glue this? Gluing something to the rod might not be such a bad idea. But I should apply the glue to whatever I want to attach, not to the rod. After all the effort I took to get it unstuck. Aha! Aha! We're onto something. But pillows. They look very comfortable. Can we cut them open? That would accomplish nothing. I'm just gonna. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, we're gonna leave it here for today, so thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and most importantly, tell your parents about me. And I, personally, cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye! Mm,